So, so do I, my. Well, to, yeah, I mean, to, to dovetail onto that, I, I would say, uh, you know, first off, that, you know, kind of like what you're, you were talking about with uh, being cut from the same cloth, it's amazing the, you know, the special operations guys, no matter what country you're talking about, there's just, there's, there's like this international brotherhood that exists yeah. that yeah, yeah. it's like a wink and a nod and like, you know, just the, the bro nod, like, <laughs> of acknowledgement, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, but, but it is, you know, whether it's, you know, Canadian, British, Aussie, New Zealand, whatever, it's, uh, you know, any, any westernized society that has special operations guys, they're, they're all, you know, just, uh, it's like this international brotherhood, which is pretty awesome. But, uh, you know, as far as the Grom is concerned, you know, Shane and I did, uh, you know, the, the, we were with team three on the first initial push into Iraq and, Prior to the war even kicking off, we uh, were tasked with taking down uh, the oil. There's two oil uh, rigs about 26 miles off the coast. One of them was Maybot and the other one was Kayot. And, uh, you know, it was the first joint special operations yeah. mission between or, or, you know, in conjunction with NSW and the Polish Grom. And I remember seeing those guys in our base camp, you know, watching them train and you know, of course, you know, we'd never seen these guys before, so yeah. we're sizing them up and they're say, sizing yeah, us up. And, everybody's measuring one another. It's you know, know, like measuring them. Yeah, but, the you know, it, are, like, right. you know, we were talking about it, and we're like, fucking Christ, 20 years ago, we'd have been fighting these guys, yeah. you know? Yeah. But, yeah. like, I mean, they had the same fucking gear, and they're in shape, and yeah. they're, like, fucking and looking at us. they're moving like us, and we're moving like them. Uh, uh, yeah. You know, yeah. that's what actually... You know how to do that. You know, a lot of the hand signals are transferable. Let me make the point here that my command would never let me go in the mission if they would perceive that could be... It could be, it could endanger me beyond what we they expect to. Yeah. And but these guys were just like us. I mean, I mean, they're, they're training, they're, yeah, they're responsive, they're professional. They, they're a professional. Yeah. So, well, um, I mean, so they they, 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 I was allowed actually to yeah. do assaults. Yeah. Uh, uh, with with the chrome as a part of the assault element, mm -hmm. and that was great. That was a great experience. It's not yeah. only that we were bringing our knowledge and experience to these guys, but yeah. there was also a lot of things that we took from them yeah. and, 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 and bring up yeah. to the teams yeah. to they make the teams shit about better. Your Polish accent? Yeah, they did actually. They, they say you mother. <laughs> you know, well, but the, the, the more Polish. shit I got from my mom. You're not because Polish. Where did you get that accent? Because my mom was uh, my mom was always crying, say, son. I don't fucking understand you. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you say. You know, so, so, now, so now you're getting yeah, that so, from both sides. So I, yeah, so, you know, I was getting from my mom with the worst hell than from yeah. Grom guys. But Grom guys finally, you know, they, they, they helped me out a little bit. And I got my Polish in line and my teammates in, yeah. in my platoon. They say, you know, you motherfucker need to speak better English. So yeah. they get me in line. So, you know, I'm I like hanging in between. Let's talk about, the best. you talk about English. I know there's... Uh, Rosetta Stone, English lessons, and then there's English by Drago. <laughs> yes, well, let's talk about a, the well, English this is lesson. a different story because the, we, we, run often, uh, we often run into the fucking brick wall up there during the missions that the first thing was like, no English. I, can speak, I cannot speak English. So, well, I, I developed a special program and I call it <laughs> Accelerated Drago's English Course. And I tell you what, Within five minutes, <laughs> well, I had that. motherfuckers not only speaking English, they were singing, <laughs> and they could speak with better accent than I can say right now. I so, they had their nuts that's in a fucking vice grip. Uh, but, uh, yeah, but you know what? It worked, and it helped us to get ahead. And they, they make, make, I, I think it was pretty good technique. Yeah. I also developed the, you know, sometimes those uh, motherfuckers were not safe with the trigger. They like to shoot, or the gun shoot on them these bad bastards. So I developed the so-called Dragos triggers, Trigger Finger safety course. After that course, they could not fucking shoot at us. They, were not, they, they, they would not shoot at us, at least not with the trigger fingers. Tell so. the story. You told me that story about the guys talking about America and oh, the well, English, their well, first this, English this, lesson that we you snatched, gave. Like, we snatched some of the motherfuckers, some bad motherfuckers <laughs> in, the, in, in the mission. And the same thing. No English. Can speak to you, sorry. I don't speak English. It's like a so an interrogation well, I, scene out besides of I had my <laughs> my fucking course. So I just started applying my course to one of those couple of those motherfuckers. And the next thing the other fuckers looking around say, Well man, I don't want to get that to that Dragos course. So I better speak English myself. <laughs> and they start all learning but, English. And they, like they, really and they start learning English with Drago. 
So the, my first lesson was always repeat after me, motherfucker. <laughs> I love America. <laughs> so by the time we had like fucking 10 of those motherfuckers screaming loud, I love America, <laughs> I love America. Thinking, How did they get this guy to do yeah, that yeah. shit? Well, and, and you know, so our officer comes in, what the fuck is going on? I said, so like the other guys, no, no, so nothing. It's, Drago is teaching them English. They are making big progress. I would just leave it, let it go. And by the time we were done with them, everybody spoke English good enough to communicate and tell us what we needed to know. So uh, definitely it worked. So there's uh, two things which I was able to develop besides the breaching stuff where I was ex my expertise is in explosives was the Drago's accelerated English course. <laughs> I, uh, five mi give me five minutes with the motherfucker. He will speak better English than I can. <laughs> and give me another five minutes. <laughs> he will never pull the triggers by accident yeah. because yeah. of fucking um, the Drago, Drago's uh, trigger, sa trigger finger safety course. There are two courses which I was <laughs> developed myself and it worked well. Nice. It, it language barrier, Foxy, in his uh, 16 weeks of uh, 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 Farsi immersion. Oh, yeah. Hey, Foxy, go tell that guy to back the truck up. Hey, back that truck up over there. No, <laughs> no, 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 it's not I like I sent you to school for 16 yeah. weeks to learn Farsi, and that's what you tell him?